In this video, we'll be comparing two behemoths, the most popular weight loss GLP-1 medications out there, Munjaro or Terzepatide, and Wegovy or Semaglutide. Which one will be best for you in your weight loss journey, Terzepatide or Semaglutide? Why do we prescribe different ones? What are the factors? What are the side effects? We'll be teaching you everything you need to know about these popular weight loss drugs. And stick around to the end for three best practices that we always tell our patients when taking semaglutide or terzepatide. I'm Dr. Alex Spinoso, CEO and founder of Genesis Lifestyle Medicine, where we help you reverse aging and stay young as long as humanly possible. If you're new here, make sure to click the subscribe button and like the video and share it for that YouTube algorithm. Check out all the links mentioned in this video in the description below. Today, we're going to be comparing two really popular weight loss medications, semaglutide and tirzepatide. We'll be taking a look at how they actually work in your body, what their results were in clinical trials, what we see with our own patients, how much they cost, and what the side effects are. I'll also be discussing how you can know which is best for you. So let's do this. Semaglutide is a glucagon-like peptide 1, or GLP-1 receptor agonist. It mimics the action of GLP-1, a hormone that naturally is produced in the body and plays a role crucial in regulating blood sugar levels. So what are the effects of GLP-1s in the body? Number one, it increases insulin secretion. By activating GLP-1 receptors on pancreatic beta cells, semaglutide stimulates insulin release in response to high blood sugar levels. Number two, it decreases glucagon secretion. It suppresses the secretion of glucagon, a hormone that raises blood sugar levels from pancreatic alpha cells. Number three, it delays gastric MD. Semaglutide slows down the rate at which the stomach empties itself. This leads to a slower and more gradual absorption of glucose in the bloodstream and helps the body feel full faster. Number four, appetite suppression. Because it helps the body feel full faster, it influences areas in the brain that control appetite, leading to reduced calorie intake and potential weight loss. Now let's talk about terzepatide and how it works in the body. Terzepatide is a dual GIP glucose dependent insulinotropic polypeptide and GLP-1 receptor agonist. It simultaneously mimics the effects of both GIP and GLP-1. These are both hormones involved in glucose metabolism. So what are its effects in the body? Well, number one, enhanced insulin secretion. By acting on both GIP and GLP-1 receptors, terzepatide has a more comprehensive effect on stimulating insulin secretion than GLP-1 agonists alone. Number two, inhibition of glucagon. Similar to semaglutide, it suppresses glucagon release. Number three, delayed gastric emptying and appetite control. Terzepatide shares these effects with semaglutide, potentially leading to greater efficacy in reducing blood sugar and aiding in weight loss. But what about the additional role of GIP? The GIP component of terzepatide, which semaglutide doesn't have, may have additional effects on energy expenditure and fat metabolism. Although the full range of his actions is still being explored, newer terzepatide like Zepbound has been FDA approved for weight loss. So let's talk about the clinical trials of semaglutide and terzepatide so far. Terzepatide was compared to semaglutide in a 40 week phase three surpass two study with over 1,870 participants. Researchers sought to see how these drugs affected hemoglobin A1C reduction. A key secondary endpoint was the amount of weight loss. Terzepatide 5 mg, 10 mg, and 15 mg injections were compared to semaglutide 1 mg injections in adults with type 2 diabetes, whose blood sugars were not controlled with 1,500 mg a day of metformin alone, which is a normal diabetic drug. Patients in the study had a hemoglobin A1C of 8.3 percent and a weight of 94.1 kilograms or 207 pounds at the beginning of the study. Terzepatide reduced the hemoglobin A1c by 2 to 2.3 percent compared to a 1.9 percent reduction of participants using semaglutide in the same group. Terzepatide led to a weight loss of 7.7 .7 kilograms or 17 pounds up to 11.4 kilograms or 25 pounds on average compared to the 5.9 kilograms or 13 pounds for semaglutide only. 
Of note, this was before semaglutide was approved for its highest dose of 2.5 milligrams or 2.4 milligrams. So the effectiveness compared to terzepatide is actually just as good up until the 10 milligram of terzepatide dose. Based off that, we see an increased weight loss above 10 milligrams of terzepatide versus semaglutide. Now, both semaglutide and Munjaro cost a decent amount of money out of pocket, ranging anywhere between 300 to 700 to even $1,000 a month because of the dosing. As you go with these medications, you have to have an increased dose, which increased the costs of taking the medication. Both the side effects are usually the same, a little bit of nausea, stomach ache, but we reduce those side effects with proper diet, exercise, as well as GLP-1 support. Some of the side effects of semaglutide include GI issues. The most common are gastrointestinal in nature, including nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, abdominal pain, and constipation. However, if you start low, these symptoms are usually mild and tend to decrease over time. You can also have appetite changes. That's the point. You feel full faster. So decreased appetite can occur, which is a mechanism of action through which the drug aids in weight loss. But there is a risk of hypoglycemia or low blood sugar. When used with other diabetes medications, especially insulin or sulfonylureas, there is an increased risk of low blood sugar. So you want to talk to your doctor about this medication if you're taking those. Another side effect is pancreatitis. Now it is rare, but it is also a serious risk. You can also have changes in vision. Some users may experience vision changes due to changes in the blood sugar levels. Low blood sugar will cause some dizziness and vision blurring. You have a possible increased heart rate. Same reason with the low blood sugar, you're gonna have high and low heart rate. And thyroid tumors are one of the most important things when it comes to taking GLP-1s. In animal studies, semaglutide has been shown to cause increased thyroid tumors. It's unknown whether this actually occurs in humans, but it is advised not to use this medication in individuals with a personal or family history of medullary thyroid carcinoma or in patients with multiple endocrine neoplasia syndrome type 2. So what are the side effects of terzepatide? Well, just like semaglutide, gastrointestinal symptoms are number one. It can cause nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, abdominal pain, constipation. But again, these are usually very short-lived, and if you start at a low dose and work your way up, your body gets used to it very quickly. Number two, appetite reduction. Of course, the whole point of the medication is to reduce your appetite. That's how it helps with weight loss. There is, again, a hypoglycemia risk with semaglutide and terzepatide when you combine it with other diabetes medications as well. Again, there's the risk of pancreatitis, as with both of them. So you want to make sure that you are very careful if you have a history of pancreatitis or recurring pancreatitis when taking this medication. In some patients, they might have injection site reactions. There's a little bit of blistering or itchiness at the site of injection. And just like semaglutide, thyroid tumors are also a concern. Based on animal studies, so similar precautions apply in a patient who is going to take any GLP-1s. So how do you know which medication is the best for you? What are the key factors? Well, really it depends on your goals. Either one are gonna be great medications in patients. More recently, terzepatide has shown increased weight loss over a period of time. So many times we'll start with semaglutide and then if the patient hits a plateau, we'll move them over to terzepatide, going back and forth until we find the best combination possible. Now here are three things we always advise our patients to do when getting them on semaglutide or terzepatide. Number one, drink lots of water. One of the major issues with GLP-1 is that it slows down gastric emptying. If you're not drinking enough water, you're going to end up constipated. Number two, take a GLP-1 support. Genesis Lifestyle Medicine actually has its own blend of GLP-1 support probiotics, including two of the greatest probiotics out there, Bifidobacterium and Lactobacillus, as well as a myriad of other vitamins and minerals helping with GLP-1 support, brain health, bone health, muscle health, and skin health. And number three, we always recommend a high protein diet. GLP-1 reacts to spikes in blood sugars. So if you eat foods that are lower in spiking blood sugars, such as meats and vegetables, things like that, you will do better when you are on these medications. So if you're
you're having issues with your weight and you need help, or if you're not sure which medications is best for you, hit the link in the description to book a consultation with one of our clinics. We have 19 locations in major cities across the US, and we also have a large telehealth brand available nationwide. So we probably have one that can help you out. I'll see you soon.